Sunon Pro 3.5 Fan 5.5 kW Inverter System Installation Guy Step 1. Open the inverter and lithium battery packing box. Take out the inverter and lithium battery. Step 2. Properly fix the inverter and lithium battery to the wall with expansion screws or place the lithium battery on the ground. Step 3. Remove the two screws of the bottom wiring cover plate of the inverter and remove the inverter. Wiring cover plate. Connect the positive terminal of the lithium battery to the positive battery terminal of the inverter with the red battery connection wire. And then connect the negative terminal of the lithium battery to the negative battery terminal of the inverter with the black battery connection wire. Note. The DC working voltage of Sunon Pro 3.5 kW is DC 24 volts. Sunon Pro 5.5 kW inverter DC working voltage is DV 48 volts. Step 4. Connect the positive PV wire to the positive PV input terminal of the inverter, and then connect the negative PV wire to the negative PV input terminal of the inverter. Note. The PV input open circuit voltage of Sun Non Pro 3.5 kW and 5.5 kW inverter shall not exceed 500 volts. The optimal operating voltage of the module is DC to 4 o volts 360 volts. The maximum PV input power of Sun On Pro 3.5 kW is 5000 watts. The maximum PV input power of Sun On Pro 5.5 kW is Step 5. Connect the AC 220 volts live wire, neutral wire and ground wire to the AC input terminal out, and then the ground marked on the inverter respectively. Step 6. Connect the AC output terminal out, and end of the inverter to the live wire and neutral wire of the load distribution box respectively. Step 7. Turn on the lithium battery controls which and then turn on the inverter control switch to switch on the inverter. Observe the inverter AC output voltage and battery voltage is normal or not. If it's normal, turn on the PV input and start the loads. If everything is normal, the whole system installation process will be completed. Step 8. Power Source Priority Selection. Press Enter button on the panel to enter the O1 setting interface. Press the select button, and then the power source priority can be selected as shown in the following pictures. Picture 1 shows that solar energy is the first power source to supply to loads. Battery will automatically supply when the solar energy is off or not sufficient to supply to loads. Mains will automatically supply when both solar energy and battery are off or not sufficient to supply to loads. Picture 2 shows that solar energy is the first power source to supply to loads. Mains will automatically supply when the solar energy is off or not sufficient to supply to loads. Battery will automatically supply when both solar energy and mains are off or not sufficient to supply to loads. Picture 3 shows that mains is the first power source to supply to loads. Solar energy will automatically supply when mains is off or not sufficient to supply to loads. Battery will automatically supply when both mains and solar energy are off or not sufficient to supply to loads.